Hello everybody, welcome to my RC Plane channel. I'm James and this is my DLE 20cc rear exhaust gas engine. I'm going to be mounting this on a plane that I'm building right now, which is the Balsa USA Stingray 120. In order to do that, I obviously had to get an engine mount. So here I have three examples of engine mounts that I'd like to share with you today. So this one is made by Debro. This one over here is, I don't have a package for it, but this is made by Great Plains. And this one over here is made by Miracle RC. To start with, let's talk about the Debro one because this one is actually the one that is recommended in the manual that I have for this DLE 20 RA. So let me get the manual and I'll show you what it says. Let me move this stuff even further out of the way. So if we look at it, it says right here, select an engine mount. A two-piece engine mount that does not interconnect or overlap at the firewall is preferred for the DLE20. Like the Debro vibration reduced an engine mount 1.2 or 1.8 cubic inch, and they give you a number, it's a D or the model number, I guess, the DUBG1307. So in addition to telling you about which one they recommend, they actually give you in the manual, at least the manual that I have, because I know some of them are different, they give you a template to use for your mounting bolt pattern. And for example, if I grab one, one of them here, and you can see it would fit, you would just basically use this template would be very helpful to locate the bolts and the holes that you need to mount this engine mount. Now here's something that I came across and I'm sure a lot of you, if you've purchased this engine and have gone searching for this engine mount, you may have come across the same issue that I had, which is you can type in this number or this, this, that DUBG1307. You can type that into the internet and do a search and you will find this engine mount. However, that number is not written anywhere on the package. In fact, the number, the only number that they have is this one, which is cat number 688. Now, if you go to the Debro website and again, try to search for this engine mount, this is the only one that comes up. Now they make three versions of this engine mount and this is the largest one. They have two smaller ones. They have, so, so I guess they have a small, medium and large and none of those numbers match this DUBG 1307. I have no idea where that number is. It's not, it's not anywhere on this package that I can find. It's not on the website, on the page that they're selling it from. And what's interesting is you will do a search and you'll see this number in the title of some of the listings online for some for these for this engine mount, but it is not the actual number that's on the packaging and such. So a little bit confusing. But I think the key thing to understand is that it's the size you need. The 1.2 to the 1.8 um, cubic inch is the size that they have in the package here. Okay, so I went and I purchased this engine mount and it is a really nice engine mount. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. But as you can see, it's, a really, it's really nice. It's really beefy, it's solid. This is, it looks like it's a cast aluminum. It's one solid piece. It has, it's a vibration reducing. And what they've done is they put these elastic sort of bushings or these, I think they call them elastometrics or something like that. Yeah, right here. You can kind of see right here, hopefully. They refer to it to an elastometric. That's this guy right here. And they have one on each side. So it's sort of like a shock absorbing or vibration absorbing um, engine mount, which is really, really, really nice. And it also, it also comes with a little package of uh, cap screws and some T-nuts in here. What you have to do with it though, because it is solid, is you will have to drill it out, either drill th straight through it and just use a bolt with a nut, or you could actually tap it out if you want and just mount it, screw it, screw it straight in. So yeah, this is a really nice engine mount. Okay, however, there's a problem with it. Let me grab the engine. And this will be something you'll come across also, and you may have come across this if you have this engine. I'm talking about the rear exhaust version of the engine here. So if you take the engine mount 
and it's going to go like this, right? And it's going to go on mount like this. Look what happens. It actually isn't long enough. It gets in the way of the well, the muffler gets in the way of the engine mount itself. In fact, if I put it like sort of right up against it, you'll see that that hole, engine mount hole, isn't is too far too far forward. Now this isn't Debro's fault because Debro just makes an engine mount. This is some kind of a typo or a mistake in the manual from DLE. So this engine mount would work for this engine if you had the side exhaust. I'm, I'm assuming it would work great for that because the exhaust obviously would be over here and that wouldn't be an issue. So then you could use this engine mount for the side exhaust, but for the rear exhaust, unless I'm doing something wrong or I'm not seeing something correctly, it will not work. Now I know I've read some people what they, what they do to this is they actually put a spacer in here they they may put like a get like a piece of aluminum stock like a block of aluminum and I guess something like you know whatever quarter inch thick piece maybe half inch and then just raise the engine up and then bolt it through a block like that I guess that's an option but boy that would really kind of bring your engine up high like that so anyhow I can't use this one obviously I cannot use this Debro uh, for to mount this engine S simple as that. And if I had a rear, if I had the side exhaust, yeah, it, it would work. So this one, I'm going to set this this engine mount aside. I can't use it. I'll use it on a different engine or a different plane someday. It's a really nice engine mount. It's kind of on the expensive side. So, but if you're going to purchase one of these, if you're reading this manual, I suggest you really look into this before you purchase this because you may find that this is the problem that you're that you will have also. So, anyhow, okay. So that's that one. Let me go ahead and move this one out of the out of the way. The next one I have is this one which is made by Great Plains. Now the problem with that is that Great Plains is no longer in business. At the time of this video, from, our, from my understanding, they're no longer in business. But this is the Great Plains 60 to 120, which again is the 0.6 to 1.2 cubic inch size engines. And the 1.2 cubic inch is you know, relatively close to the 20cc size engine. And yeah, so this one, like I said, um, they're out of business, but it looks like you can still get this at a lot of places. There's stores that are still selling it, and you can also get them on eBay, and they're relatively inexpensive. They're, I don't know, somewhere around 15 bucks or so for this one. That Debro one that we just looked at is closer to 50. That one's really expensive. That's, that's a really expensive um, engine mount. But this one is around 15, 16 dollars. And you can still get it at least right now. And, you know, it's one of these things that may be around for a little while longer. So if you are interested, you know, go ahead and grab one of these just to have it. So it is adjustable. And what you can kind of see, well, you can see here that it's got these, uh, the holes for it are oblong so that you can actually kind of open it up to fit your engine. Okay. And that's really cool. And I've actually used this type of motor mount for um, other airplanes that I've had. So when it does fit, it actually does fit the DLE, but again, there are a couple problems with it, but I, but you can actually deal with those. Let me show you what they are. So again, it's gonna go, I think the, the DLE is still a pretty big engine. So I can put this on here. So if I just press it up against the engine like this and just kind of hold it like so, I'll pull it off of here. Now, the thing about it is, it is pretty wide now, and if you look at this, you'll see how far apart it, it came. And if you look down here, you'll see that the holes are no longer lined up, right? That is a problem. And, you know, you could, the problem with it is, is that obviously you're not going to have, you may want, you'd have to, prop, there's a couple different options you can do. You can kind of trim it, right? And then just put the bolt straight back in, in the, in the, on this side, put them down on this piece here. This side is actually still okay on the front. However, the back, there's a gap, sort of, because it has this step in it. You can, you can so, sort of see that, you know, your bolts will go through. And because of the way it's designed, obviously it's still level all the way around, sort of at its base, but it does get kind of, kind of um, screwy with it being that, that far apart. So that's one issue. The other issue is, which is, let me put this back on here, 
is that what they call the webbing, or this piece that's kind of in the middle section here, it gets in the way of the control arms, or the connections, if you will, for the carburetor. So hopefully you can kind of see this, like there's the choke right there, and it bumps into this piece right up here. Yeah, so hopefully you can kind of see this in here. You can kind of see how your choke and your throttle control arms are right in there. So there's actually, someone actually had a pretty good idea for this to deal with that, which I think actually is actually a pretty good idea, which is what he did. I forget what form I saw this on, but he glued it all together, epoxied it together like so, and then just cut it cut it into two pieces and just basically cut out the middle and basically by doing that you end up with two pieces sort of like the way the Debro one was and then it was solid all the way around and I think that's actually a really good a really good choice and that would keep it keep your the carburetor accessible and the control linkages all accessible and I think that would be actually a pretty good idea and again obviously you would have to drill this out and either you can tap it, and this is like a composite material. I don't know what type of material it is, but you can you could tap it and put and screw um, your engine on, or you can go all the way through and bolt it, or do both if you want to kind of make it extra secure. But this is actually a really really good option for this engine. Uh, the key thing is is that there may not be these around aren't going to be around forever. So if you're interested, you need to go grab a couple of these before they disappear. Okay, and then the last one I have is this one by Miracle RC. And this one is made by a company, I think, based in China. And you'll see this one at a lot of places. I think you can get this at Red Wing Hobby and all kinds of different hobby distributors. But let's go ahead and pull this thing out and take a look at it. I'll just grab one for now. And you can see it's really nicely machined. It's a machined aluminum. I think, I think it's a machined aluminum. And... What's nice about it is actually it has a nice, instead of having to drill it out, it actually has a slot, like an adjustable slot, so you can put your engine on there and just put it straight in. And like the Debro, it has the little vibration suppressor or these rubber grommets here. And then it comes with, obviously it comes with some mounting bolts. And these are just, yeah, these are just sort of like, these look like just little, oh, they, yeah, there it is. And I don't know if you can get replacements of these guys, but you may be able to. But very similar design to the Debro. Probably a knockoff, if you will. So a few things about it is it I think these these mounting bolts are a little bit on the smaller side, I think, for this size engine. I'm not sure if I would try if I would actually drill this out and get bigger ones. I'm not sure if I'd have to even drill out the metal itself. Let's see here. Oh yeah, so you wouldn't have to do that. So that's interesting. So yeah, maybe an option if you wanted to have a little bit beefier um, bolt on here is you can maybe get a little bit bigger size and maybe even just push it through this rubber grommet or drill it out a little bit, but that's something to think about. So let's take a look and see how it would mount on the engine. And one thing that's nice about it is that it, it doesn't get in the way or the or the exhaust doesn't get in the way of this engine mount and it looks like it would fit nicely but like the others there's a little bit of a caveat here if you look at the slot down here you can only go to this to that point right there right so let me go ahead and line up the, the screw hole or the opening on the engine to that limit, which would be right about there, something like that. And if I turn the engine on this way, you'll see that you basically don't have very much room at the back. In fact, when the choke is closed, you're, you're, I guess you're okay if the choke is closed. Put it back over here. But you can see you barely have clearance, right? So imagine your firewall being right here, and of course when the choke is open, you're gonna hit the firewall. Now, I guess you could drill a hole or put an opening in the firewall so that that wouldn't happen, but that's something you'd have to think about, okay? But an option, you could actually drill out the end of it here. 
okay so you could actually bring the engine mount a little more forward like this okay and then drill this out and you can tap it put a put threads in or just drill all the way through it and mount it sort of out like that and that would just give you more room then obviously so those are the two ones that I ended up sort of thinking are going to work for this engine and if you have other ideas or you've seen other brands that you like please put them in the comments and let us all know because it's not the easiest thing to find engine mounts for these DLE 20s for some reason there's not one that's specifically made for this engine that I know of and if you do some reading and kind of looking around a lot like I did you'll see that yeah people sort of are saying the same type of thing so in any case I hope this was helpful to you and like always thanks for watching my channel I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time